Hey, hey, hey everyone, UEPS2Hub here, and in this battle, we have 3 million zombies versus 3,000 M1A2 Abrams tanks. And I think that these are Tusk variants, let me know if I'm wrong, because they do have the ERA blocks on the side. But regardless, being a little bit of a tank fan, being that my main channel is Tankenstein, I play War Thunder, if you guys want, check that out. But either way, let's get into it and already already a hundred thousand two hundred thousand of these zombies are destroyed i put the impact volume up a little bit here but uh you know just that way because who doesn't love seeing zombies flying across the screen but look at this look at this whoever did this model i gotta give them a lot of credit it's actually a really good looking model uh you know especially in UEBS2. It's a it's a pretty damn good looking model uh, for the M1A2. Uh, a few days ago actually I published an M1A1 video with a bunch of those. They have two variants. One that runs over the zombies, one that shoots at the, uh, shoot at the zombies. And those models are a bit more basic. Still good, but these ones have uh, dirt, grime, and all that on them. I really appreciate that. So let's move up here. The tanks are already moving up a bit. Let's see what this battle line is going to look like. Oh, man. Whoa! <laughs> no! Oh, man! Okay, so let's get behind this hill a little bit, right? You imagine you're just a zombie or some sort of a soldier or whatever, and you're being told, hey, charge! <laughs> and then, like, you're just kind of moving up, moving up, you know, blah, right? I'm just going to take control of a zombie. Moving up. Okay. You know, this is a good day, right? Moving up, moving up. And then all of a sudden, you're like, what? <laughs> and I'm going to die in a few seconds here. I can guarantee. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, what a great feature that is. You know, let's go ahead and do that in first person. I know you guys are... Let me know if you guys don't like that sort of, you know, from the zombies perspective or from the, you know, legions, per whatever, perspective. But in my opinion, it's it's one of the cooler things because you're like, you get to experience the madness firsthand. And I'm just running, running. I see no... I'm just running over the corpses of my friends. My... Well, not my friends, I guess. My zombie... Somehow, I'm still alive. This has got to be among the farthest anyone's ever made it. You can't shoot me. I'm still... Oh, there we go. I made it farther than almost any other zombie. Wow. But right now, we have just over a million left. Let's go ahead and just check out these M1A2s. Now, this is a modded unit, if you guys didn't know. If I didn't already make it clear. I did also use an M... Or the, um, the Apache. The AH-64 Apache. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, I either have already uploaded that video or will do it very soon. So that's definitely an option for you guys. Let me know also what sort of improvements I could do to make my channel better. You know, I might try to see if there's some sort of way where I can um, add my voice on so that it's optional to listen to it. Um, I know some people prefer UEBS to without commentary which is totally fine you know i mean i i actually kind of do too but it's kind of my niche to do it with commentary but if you guys don't like commentary you know what i would definitely consider making at least a few videos like that let's go ahead and just jump into this bad boy and start firing got a kill so that's another thing too right so i've got it says that we have thirty-three thousand or so kills which is inaccurate uh, because obviously 2.4 million have died thus far. It says less than fewer than 600,000 are remaining. The reason why there's a discrepancy is because it only counts the ones that you hit directly uh, as a kill sometimes. So in this instance, I think because the person who made these put the splash range up so high, um, it kills so many in a range that the ones that are not directly basically hit by the initial blast or the initial explosion but are still kind of sent up into the air those are counted um, obviously as a loss for the zombies but not as a kill for the American uh, because it's more like not the American oh wow wow 
that was really close. Because it's not really the uh, the tanks that are getting the kill, at least in UEBS-2's head. Rather, it is the game's physics getting the kill. And thus, is counting them as dying, kind of like in the same way that uh, God Power would count them as dying. But um, no differently. But, whoa! Like, look at this. We still have 3,000 tanks alive. It is just... This is funny. And also, if you guys want, in my opinion, one of the funnier videos I've ever had the uh, luck of being able to make was when I made my M1A1 video where, again, they had trample versions. So versions of the tank where they just run people over, it is hilarious. Because, oh wow, look at this. We still have a huge amount of zombies left right here in the center. But basically, it's where the... Like, isn't that, isn't that crazy? There's still this many left, and they're still just foisting themselves upon the breach. Oh, he was hit directly! But, uh, basically, it's just, you know, tanks running over the zombies, which is just fantastic. It is beautiful in every sense of the word, and I'm all for it, but look how awesome this was. So I said, the M1A2 is clearly one. I don't even know if they took a single lick of damage. This was beautiful. I love doing this. Three million zombies. It is just wonderful. And we all know who's going to win. But that's part of the joy, right? Just to see the chaos. So I said, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Subscriptions mean the world to me. And they definitely help my channel grow but that said thanks so much again for watching and kudos to the maker of this beautiful model i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone